Oh, random name 609 here. This is a dash core tutorial for making web widget, web objects, or whatever, web 2.0, which is a web application. This one is called Baseball Helper. I don't know. This is what this tutorial will teach. It's the basic button thing. So strike one, so click the little gauge to that. Strike two, do that. And strike three, they're out. When it turns red, they're out. So, and you can also do ball, whatever. So, I'm just going to make it. Dash code in five minutes. Yeah, we were fun to do. So you're going to go into Safari. Make sure you click Safari Custom. And you, I, you do not want the mobile Safari. You want regular Safari. So we do that. Um, should be ready. Yeah, it's fast. Type in X, set to G so that it'll be set to J. So now I'll just I'll go back to your parts library. So you want to take the left one, this, this one, and this one. So it kind of looks like a little cake thing. So now once you do that, you basically drag out a label. I forgot to say. This takes doesn't take long to throw together. So yeah, and then in this one, make sure you click in this, the round button. It's kind of rounded at the edges. You don't want that. So you're gonna go up here and click corner roundness, bring it to zero pixels. So now now it's straight. So in the first one, you want to click strike one, strike two, strike three. So now we got those. We can bring them together. Line up everything and drag the gauge on it. Click the gauge, or bring the mouse is an advantage. Click inspector and under, oh, it's under values, value, range, zero through three. That's probably the right word. And the current value set at zero. For on, you want it to be one. For warning, you want it to be two. And critical is two. Critical meaning you're out. You are out. So that's how you do that. And now, now we're gonna do the easy thing. This is easy. Trust me. Set gauge value. Set G. Type that in. So now right click the number one button. On click. Click handler. Right down here. And just click and drag in that. Like where it says hundred type one and under element ID type in Z A U G gauge. Now these for every button but just a quick test just to make sure it's working. I'm pretty sure it will because I've used it before. One it turns the gauge on and it's a picture right there. So that's so number two event on click click on click three whatever user code value set it to gauge and then again strike one strike two so now it's in yellow and number three just repeat the same step now click handler set that up set gauge value and this time you want it to be three Okay, so there you go. That that's how you do it. And the final project looks like strike one, strike two, strike three. Now you can add a, that you can add a alert, but that's beyond us. You can also do balls, um, and innings out, whatever it is. And then for innings, you could just complicated. You could do anything with this, whatever you want. That's how you do it. That's some baseball ball here. Uh, the tutorial on dash code, and there you go.